Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Google Founder offers new ultralight vehicle. Collegiate Drone Racing National Championship. DJI refines first-person VR goggles. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. With an appearance not all that different than many of the multi-copters we're flying these days, Google's Larry Page has entered the aviation arena with a personal flying machine that is supposed to operate in the ultralight category. The Kitty Hawk Flyer is an all-electric aircraft. Page's effort claims the aircraft to be, quote, safe, tested, and legal to operate in the United States in uncongested areas under the ultralight category of FAA regulations. We've designed our first version specifically to fly over water. You don't need a pilot's license, and you'll learn to fly it in minutes. We publicly unveiled the working prototype in April 2017. The official flyer will be available by the end of the year. While video and photos of the vehicle revealed a multi-copter-like configuration, the final configuration is promised to be significantly different than seen in the public unveiling of the flying prototype. The Kitty Hawk Flyer is meant to be operated over fresh water and may be flown in uncongested areas of the U.S., which will certainly limit the utility of this version of the vehicle, though the mission statement suggests that this may be the first of a generation of airborne transports. The company claims it will have vehicles ready by the end of the year. You're watching the AMA Drone Report on Aero TV. We'll be back with more in a moment. Hi, I'm Brian Wynn, President and CEO of AUVSI, inviting you to witness the evolution of unmanned technologies at AUVSI's Exponential 2017 on May 8th through the 11th in Dallas, Texas. Exponential is the premier trade event dedicated to drones and robotics. See more than 650 manufacturers and solution providers in the largest exhibit hall this industry has to offer. Join us for more than 200 hours of sessions on key topics and issues such as commercial unmanned applications, public policy and legislation, beyond visual line of sight operations, counter UAS systems, data management, women and diversity in robotics, and much, much more. Welcome back. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. On May 9th and 10th, less than two weeks from now, ANN and Airborne will present several hours of live interviews and discussions from the floors of AUVSI's Exponential Trade Show. Be sure to check out airborne-live.net on May 9th from 1200 to 1500 Central Time and May 10th from 1000 to 1300 Central Time. We'll see you there. The AMA has updated their coverage of recently announced airspace restrictions over 133 military facilities to address national security concerns. These new restrictions, outlined in NOTAM FDC 77282, apply to all model aircraft, sometimes referred to as drones or unmanned aircraft systems. More information and a short Q&A are posted on the AMA Government Relations blog. Late last Tuesday, the crew of an Air Canada Jazz Q400 airliner on approach to landing at Ottawa International Airport said they saw a drone at about 1,500 feet. The crew says the drone narrowly missed colliding with the left wing of the larger aircraft. While the incident has not been confirmed, that hasn't stopped several pundits from sounding the alarm. Over the last four months, AMA's direct contact with policymakers and work with the media has helped defeat legislation in Washington, Montana, and Hawaii. The involvement of AMA members on the ground played a critical role in this effort. In Montana and Oklahoma, local members publicly voiced their concerns to elected officials, which was key to our success in pushing back against these bills. That was our Drone Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Racing is all the rage among the drone community of late, and collegiate drone flyers are no exception. 
The Purdue Drone Club hosted the first ever Collegiate Drone Racing National Championship on April 15, 2017. A landmark in collegiate drone racing, the sport of drone racing is currently one of the fastest growing sports in the nation, airing its first professional season on ESPN this past year. The race was a family-friendly event that promoted the education and use of drone technology to students and the community, using video goggles, simulators, and a live feed video projection for spectators to interact with, giving them the opportunity to experience everything pilots go through in real life. The action was fast and furious, but it's now history as Georgia Tech won the first Collegiate Drone Racing National Championship and in the process picked up more than $15,000 worth of equipment and prizes. Georgia Tech beat out 26 other universities and in total 48 pilots competed using their homemade UAS. The University of California Berkeley came in second place and Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University Daytona came in third place. Purdue University, which hosted the event, came in fourth place. Drone maker DJI has released more details about its soon-to-be-available first-person VR goggles, which have been in development for a year or so. Engadget reports that the DJI goggles place a pair of 1920 by 1080 screens in front of the wearer's eyes, providing an immersive experience for the user. The goggles display what the drone camera sees, so it's a bit like you're actually flying on the aircraft. Engadget compares the experience like looking at a 216-inch home theater screen sitting about 9 feet back from the display. The DJI goggles are compatible with Mavic Pro or Phantom 4 drones, and head movements can be used to control the aircraft yaw and camera tilt. Up to two sets of goggles can be connected to a single drone, so you can share the experience with a friend. The DJI goggles are expected to retail for $449 and should start shipping May 20th. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week. Thank you.